Hello learners, welcome to School of Commerce. Uh, we are discussing time bill of money and today's uh, lecture is part 2. If you haven't uh, seen our first one, then you are requested to watch the first one first, then uh, turn to the second one. We are uh, discussing today the mathematical problems of this chapter and uh, uh, we know that there are three types of mathematical problems. Uh, one is present value, number two future value, number three effective interest rate or effective annual rate. So, uh, so today we will discuss uh, the first one, uh, present value. We have already discussed about the present value, what present value is. If you haven't uh, seen or watched our uh, first one lecture, uh, please uh, first watch, then, then come here. So start. Present value, uh, we have to know that uh, the first one, the formula, formula for single period, formula for single period, or uh, single period formula PV, I mean present value is equal to future value Y1 plus I power N. Here we denote uh, PV for present value, FB for future value, I for rate of interest and N for number of years. And uh, this is single period. Uh, what we are calling single period is if you invest a money today and uh, you will earn the money or get the money tomorrow after some period and if the incident happen two times, one time you will receive and one time you will give the two times if the transaction made and this is called this is we are calling single period and if the transaction if the transaction happens or occurs more than two times more than two times and that is called multiple period multiple period sorry multiple period so here is the formula for multiple, multiple period um multiple period we will discuss the issue uh, sometimes later first one is single period single period uh, we are we already know uh, the formula of single period present value is equal to future value by 1 plus i power n let's uh, have a mathematical problems and solutions for single period okay example one how much money should masum deposit at bornelli bank to our Taka one lakh after six years. How much money should man should massive deposit? That means what type of money, what amount of money Mamu should deposit at Barnaby Bank now to earn one lakh taka after six years. So uh, we are saying that uh, Masu Masu wants to have the money one lakh after six years that means we are calling this step this one lakh is future value this one lakh is future value future value of amount mm. so the missing is present value how much money should must deposit today though, though the word today is not here but we are understanding that how much money should must deposit at money to earn uh, one lakh after six years the rate of interest is 10%. Determine the value. That means we have to determine the value of present <coughs> of the money. So we write given PV as we don't know the present value. So PV is equal to what? FV. We denote it uh, FV for future value. Take a 1 lakh. I 10%. Um, we or 0 0.10. If you do not calculate this one 10 percent on from 0 0.10 you type in your calculator first 10 and then press division button then write 100 percent means 100 you have to um, when when you break the percentage into the decimal one um, you have to uh, type the value in uh, percentage in your calculator then press division button then write 100 and now you, when you press equal uh, then the result will be 0 0.10 and n is uh, 6 years um, as we n um, mean number of years so here n is 6 years now we put the value in the formula 
uh, the formula is fb is equal to uh, sorry divided by 1 plus i power n here which value 1 left 1 plus i i in, in, i mean um, 0 0.10 power 6 first we add um, add 1 plus 1 0 uh, then power uh, 6 and when you calculate 1 point one zero power 6 well, we are getting in calculator 1.771 now we divide taka 1 leg by 1.771 and resulting in 56,465 then we can say that the taka 56,465 needs to be deposited at Bonali Bank if Masud wants to have taka 1 leg after 6 years he must he must deposit 56,465 taka now hope you will understand the formula and the calculation of present value for single period now uh, we will go to the second one i mean multiple period multiple period multiple period means the transaction will happen or will occur more than two times and um, you are uh, investing a single amount of money today and uh, uh, if you get the interest not only one year uh, but um, in one year you will got several times your interest and it is called multiple period um, here multiple period um, we are denoting it in for multi compounding uh, we mean to say that in one year the term M uh, will um, come uh, you will get the interest um, by two times in a year three times in a year four times in a year fifth times in a year six times and so on and um, if we uh, go to go directly to the example two you will have the point clearly Miss Shari Shifa wants to accumulate wants to save accumulate means save Miss Shari Shifa wants to accumulate some money accumulate some money now to get to get Taka one lakh after six years after six years, Miss Sharia Shifa wants to have the money one leg. Southwest Bank gave her a proposal. One bank gave her a proposal to give a rate of 9% interest. That means Southwest Bank gave or offered Miss Shifa to have 9% interest compounding monthly. That means the interest will be paid monthly. Monthly means in one month, one time. That means we are calculating for 12 months as we know that uh, we always uh, calculate our accounting period is one year. So one year means 12 months. That means compounding monthly that the interest will be paid monthly in uh, in short you can say 12 times. 12 times as 12 months in a, one, in a year. So you can say that the interest will be paid monthly for 12 times. How much money should we deposit now? how much money should she deposit now so you are asked to calculate the present value as you say um, how much money should he deposit now uh, that means the now the um, or the present value is missing here so we are saying that given a present value is, good, is equal to what as we don't know uh, future value is equal to one left i is equal to nine percent or 0.09 and uh, uh, six years and m m for multi compounding um, you do not have to memorize the uh, formula for multiple period if you memorize the single period formula you will have the same formula here just one m is extra and uh, where you put this in uh, you, you have to know that in your question in your question if there is any word like half yearly semi annually quarterly monthly these, the, these are the common words other words are a bi-monthly, weekly, uh, but these are the common. These three are common. Half yearly or semi annually. Um, half yearly means uh, in a year two times. In a year two times. Six months is equal to half year. Six months one, and the rest of the rest six, six months is one. One is equal to one uh, plus one is equal to two. So why n is equal to two? If in the question there is the uh, word half yearly or semi annually, you have to uh, put m in your formula why do you put in how in as many times as i have in the formula you will divide i by m i by n in the in the normal um, the formula of the single period 
um, I mean to say single period formula single period formula you will put m uh, under uh, sorry over under i i divided by m and you will put the m into m that means m will be put where where i has where n has i divided by m and n into m that's it you just keep in your mind the two things that m will be under i and besides m and the one of m uh, is like how if, if in the question how clearly so m is equal to if quarterly m is equal to 4 if monthly m is equal to 12 okay here m is equal to 12 for why here interest compounding monthly that is why m is equal to 12 just we uh, put, put this value in the formula and we get uh, 58,411 taka that means uh, we can say that uh, taka 58,411 needs to be deposited now at South Bank to earn taka 1 lakh after 6 years in short we can say that if Mrs. Ms. Sharia Shifa wants to accumulate the money taka 1 lakh after 6 years she should deposit now 58,411 taka hope you all got our point follow good point and then um, this is the uh, finished um, of this lecture um, you are welcome to watch our uh, part 3 and the rest one um, till then Allah Hafiz